This is a story of what has happened in the nearly 20 years since a neighborhood in North Hollywood changed its name to the NoHo Arts District. It's a younger and younger demographic is moving in. Definitely art, art based, a lot of dance. We have a lot of dancers writers, sculptors. There's about 4,000 new uh, apartments or condominiums in, in this uh, area, the NoHo Arts District, and it's basically young professionals. Painters, fashion designers. But there's also another element that we're noticing, which is a lot of young families. Musicians, singers. The people who live here will tell you that North Hollywood is literally being transformed from a lower middle class neighborhood into a regional hub. And part of the reason is right here, the red line. Since it opened in 2000, this place has changed a lot. Just ask Nancy Bianconi, who's been following those changes on her website, nohoartsdistrict.com. We're an emerging arts district, and so we have so many acting classes, music classes, dance classes. We're basically called the talent pool. Um, for the film and TV industry here, located right around us. Much of that talent pool comes from here, the Millennium Dance Complex. In addition to students from all over the world who learn from the top working professionals in the business, Millennium attracts the very biggest stars. Justin Timberlake, Jennifer Lopez, Britney Spears, Usher, Christine Aguilera, and Janet Jackson, just to name a few. Anne-Marie Baker, a choreographer from New York, and her husband Robert opened the studio in North Hollywood close to 20 years ago. We hired a lot of young talent. Hip-hop was just cranking up but not accepted in the general studios. They wouldn't allow it. And I thought it was just the coolest thing. So I'm like, yeah, you can teach here. So we got all the new hip-hop people. Hip-hop wouldn't last. That was what I was told. As Millennium started creating buzz, so did the neighborhood around it. But what's happened to the NoHo Arts District is they really just drew a circle on the map and um, just wonderful bringing actors, singers, dancers. You can throw a stone and you'll, you'll find you know, some of the best in the country right here in North Hollywood. And you, you wouldn't think that because I think it's a feel, it's reality here. LA is a little slick. Just down the street from Millennium is the Art Institute of California. And just around the corner from the Institute is the Sally Gallery, whose owner can't believe what's going on here. It's growing. It's growing fast, and it's one of the only neighborhoods in all of Los Angeles that you can, you can, it's tangible, the growth here. Just past Sella is Phil's Diner. You can call this place North Hollywood History on a bun. It's been in North Hollywood since the 1920s, and originally on Lancashire, moved to Chandler in the 40s, and then it closed in 1998 um, due to the metro line going in. And we've been waiting 12 years for a spot in the third phase of the NoHo Redevelopment Project. Here we are. As long as we're talking history and we're on Lancashire, here's a story about North Hollywood. Back in 1869, a guy by the name of Isaac Lancashire and some of his rich buddies got together and bought a good portion of the San Fernando Valley for $115,000. How do I know this? Richard Hilton is an actor who gives walking tours of North Hollywood. So Isaac Lankershim buys this for $115,000, a bunch of San Fernando. There were other investors who were there. Right, uh, Isaac Newton Van Nuys, the biggest one, and also included um, Levi Strauss. Another rich guy, Wilson Weddington, built this house in the 1860s on the exact same spot where the Al Portal Theater stands today. This old palace, built for vaudeville and silent movies, is now part of a professional theater district with 21 theaters. Jay Irwin has seen other changes in the last decade. Ten years ago, when I started here, um, there was almost no foot traffic. Uh, now I'm thrilled to go out there. I just went across the street and had lunch at one of my favorite places, and I had to wait in line 10 minutes. I should have called in advance, but it was so busy that uh, uh, they got to me as quick as they could, but there's lots of business in the neighborhood. Lots of people coming by. Everybody's enjoying the neighborhood. It's really fun. And what is the name of the restaurant that you were at with the crappy service? Uh, no, I like uh, the one, the Federal Bar, a lovely place. Uh, they've got a full bar now, which is really nice for me. So the NoHo Arts District now has this whole New York thing going. It has a subway. It has 21 theaters. It has all kinds of restaurants within walking distance, and it has some great places to live. Take, for instance, this complex, which opened in January and is filling up faster than expected. They've named it Muse. 
Looking at North Hollywood, the Arts District, these are people who are ingraining themselves into this community. So we wanted to be that muse for them. So an apartment's not just an address anymore. It's nothing for you know you just to come home at the end of the day. An apartment should inspire you. The place big, uh, speaks for itself. It's very nice, very comfortable. I, I love it here. It's, um, it's a lot of restaurants. A lot of gyms, which is perfect for me. They've also added to Muse more community areas and places for people who live here to get together. What we found too is that more often than not, our, our folks will renew if they feel that they have that sense of community. And it's also a sense of community along with the creative energy that seems to have materialized in the North Hollywood neighborhood that changed its name almost 20 years ago. I feel it's like New York, like the struggling real actors who are here and gritty. And once they make it, they need, again, their roots and that realness. I think it's the feel that only NoHo has. It's a real arts place. 